So bye guys and welcome back to, <clears throat> to this episode. Firstly, I'm deeply sorry for uh, the lack of updates here on YouTube. Uh, we have been uh, very, yeah, we have been stressing on trying to get this car ready and uh, the last week or two or last weeks everything has actually gone in the opposite direction and just been killing us with uh, some small problems who made it uh, very time consuming but yeah we get in there and also the day uh, yeah this friday night i'm gonna pack the we would we were going to pack it up and load this for the dyno tuning um, and our fuel pump on the Iveco actually died, the high pressure fuel pump. Uh, so that's not a super good uh, sign this tight before the season. Well, obviously it's better before the season than during the season, but we have something four weeks before we have to leave uh, to Modelo and the car is dead. And we still have to finish up this and test this and all that stuff. So, yeah, it is a bit tough at the moment and we are exhausted. We, yeah, the temper isn't on top at the moment. But we're getting there. Um, and I haven't updated too much about it because we would like to solve the issues before we talk too much about them. Uh, but they're obviously there and uh, that's the reason for us um, not had time actually to make the vlogs but today it will happen and I would also like to remind you of staying to the end of this episode because there will be a competition where you can win a nice product from AN88 so stay to the end um, to be part of that competition so yeah let's go through this uh, as you can see we have we have made it quite a bit. Uh, we have all the body kit panels, panels supplied by Transport Styling. They are on the car, not all of them, but we have the body kit. We have started to mount it up as it should sit. It sits nicely. Super nice. I think it looks super cool. We have started with the, the rear trunk. So what we're gonna do is some mounting points for the for the rear, um, some locking mechanism for the trunk. We need to mount the rear um, bumper. We have the very nice lights, which my spotter Fubring purchased to me. Super nice from him. They look great, all nice and fresh. So that's cool. Hopefully they stay fresh. For more than uh, one corner, we have the battery, the Optima battery supplied by Huho Batterier, uh, in place. We're gonna make a mechanism to actually keep it in place. We have our ECU Master main switch wired up, works super nice. So, all you do is to switch a switch here, and you have power to the car. And when you turn this off, the full car is dead. So there is no power at all coming from the battery to the car when you switch that off. And it is also one button which will be on the passenger side on the outside. Uh, here we have some filters. This is uh, ventilation for the tank and for the winter's quick change. We still have some wiring to do here for the rear lights that we haven't actually put any, any energy to yet uh, otherwise the rear is finished up we have the yeah all the an88 water lines all the lines here for the ventilation we have made our cooling fan we still need a connector there but we have the cooling fan and the the cover we also still need to to paint the bash bar we have made an exhaust system coming out nicely behind beside the quick change. Uh, 
the new windows are on their way from Solar Plexus. Gonna try to have tinted windows on the side and on the rear, and normal blank windows here on the driver's side. I think that's gonna look cool. We have the dash OEM E92 dash sits in. I made a fairly simple mount for the ECU Master dash. And all the products are up and are running, so I just switch it on and everything gets powered up. You can switch the page. Yeah, and all the stuff, ignition, starter, and the engine actually starts. button here for boost so we have a normal boost set in there and we have high boost and here is for the water pump fuel pumps and fan this is basically to be able to override them if you need to check anything or that thing we have the lights blinkers yeah change page as I said this I don't know yet so and the most important button of them all, ALS. Uh, yeah, everything is wired up. Engine side. Uh, we still have the lights in the front to mount and wire up. And same here. I have to mount uh, or paint the paint the front dash bar. Make some mounts for the uh, front bumper. Make some locks for the uh, for the hood. We have the windshield, windscreen back in. Um, yeah, so we're getting there. We're slowly getting there. We have a little kid over there. He's you, master. Yes. Um, uh, yeah, and we had some problem, not just with the Iveco, but we <laughs> we discovered that the steering rack is dead on this this car, uh, which is not good either, because when I turn left, just the slightest left, uh, <laughs> the car actually turns full power to the right. Uh, that would be pretty cool to see on a normal road, but uh, luckily we found out before we <laughs> were on track. And also the alternator were gone uh, all of a sudden. We, have, we lifted the alternator from the E46, just lifted it, mounted it up on this car, and it was dead. So Christian Alanson kindly enough supplied me with a new one fairly quick. So we went up and beat up the same night, uh, changed that one. I am the captain now. Are you the captain? You, have you already stolen my car? <laughs> okay. Yeah, and mechanically we think that the car is pretty much done. Uh, it is... Yeah, it is pretty much together. We have everything up the clutch, gearbox, differential, drive shafts, everything seemed to work. We have no leaks at all, at least what we have seen so far. We can try to push it back and see if there is anything now. Can you stop uh, behind so I don't push it into the... So we have uh, no leaks, that's no pretty leaks. cool. No leak equals good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna pull this back forward. <coughs> and I'm gonna present to you a new sponsor to our team. Homeworks. So we have Homeworks, who has supplied us with not just one, but two toolboxes filled with tools. All the necessary tools we need for yeah the on-track services and the services here in the garage perfect and also one empty empty and yeah empty and we have some storage here on the side and same on that side 
So a super knife, and then we have um, a smaller one. It's basically the same tools. Yeah, it's basically the same tools. It's just a bit smaller. This is probably the one we're gonna use on track. This is a little bit bigger to bring with us, but super nice to have homework with us. Go check out Homeworks website. They have a web shop with tools for your garage. Uh, yeah, all sort of tools for to have your garage sorted, like toolboxes, and they have hangers to the walls. They have yeah everything. Super nice to have it, uh, and it's in perfect time for the season. I didn't know you were sponsored by them. I am sponsored by them. So you're yes. gonna have them like here or something? Yes, yes, yes. We're gonna have their logo sitting nicely on the car. You hear that company's out there? If you want your logo on the car, let us know. Uh, yeah, super nice. A bit of storage is here. Um, so that's great. We have we have not worked with them very much so far because they just arrived a few days ago, and we didn't have time to pack unpack them directly so we're now going to start using them and they come in perfect time for the season and perfect time when this car starts to be finished off because they are still in one piece and they there is a big risk they wouldn't be if we would have them before we started the build so super nice uh go check homeworks out and thank you guys uh we appreciate that super much and this is actually the first time ever we have these nice toolboxes. I always be using that little fellow over there for six years. That's pretty impressive. Uh, but back to the competition. So together with AN88, we have we are going to compete out a turbo blanket to the guy who guesses the right power figures from the dime tuning. Because this car actually yesterday was in the dyno and made some power. Uh, in the description, you're going to re be able to read the specs on the engine so you can kind of guess. Um, and next week, next Sunday, we're going to drop the dyno tuning video and reveal the power and also reveal who gets to win it. So. so you're gonna the one with closest. Yes. The guesses the closest kind of horsepower. Yes. Gets the blanket. Yeah. So the the guy or girl who guesses as close as possible to the actual horsepower number we have on our sheet will get a free turbo blanket for their car sent to you by an88.se. So that's super nice. Yeah. And the rules for being able to win this turbo blanket is simple as uh, you have to subscribe to Hartman Drifting and AN88's YouTube sites and you have to go in and follow us on the Instagram so Hartman Drifting and AN88 on Instagram uh, and we will go and see who is the closest if there is more more than one people who are the closest we will sim do a simple draw put your names in a basket and put up a name um, and also if you have if you didn't subscribe or that you won't be able to win it either so make sure to comment your thoughts on what power we did get uh, and make sure to subscribe and follow AN88 and Harpan Drifting on YouTube and Instagram so we will have this sent out to your car uh, that's it for this time it is a short video uh, but we have been stressing and I just wanted to explain a little bit what's happening uh, We are a little bit after but we're gonna make it as always we have never backed down and we won't do this time either But at the moment everything is a bit heavy. So yeah, if you have any solution and can help us with the Iveco um, Or to get this Everything faster is if you are a company that somehow can help us let us know uh, we can arrange some cool events or a marketing for your brand is that a hot boy style nice fitment yeah it almost touches here almost touches it almost touches yeah so with that i would like to say thank you guys for watching uh, and don't forget to subscribe on our channel uh, like share comment and also follow us on instagram facebook and all that stuff uh, follow a88 turbo by fht who supplied us with the turbo Wagner Tuning, we have Transport Styling, Motul, 
59 North Wheels, we have CP Carrillo, yeah, all these nice brands, Wise Fab, Pony Drift Racing Gear, Rasmus Muller Motorsport, ECU Master, we could just ramp them up. We have Radium Engineering. Yes, ECU Master again. Um, yeah, it's just, we have 7H batteries. Yes, that's from a 88 BC Racing. So, yeah, follow all the brands we have with us and companies. So, thank you for watching. Uh, see you next Sunday with the dyno video. And it is, it was some carnage for a moment there, but we're gonna make it. Uh, and you're gonna see it in the video. So, bye bye. Bye, bye guys. Goodbye.